What's up all my battery loving people? My name is Katie and I'm going to teach you guys a little bit more about batteries in my previous job. And you're probably like, Katie, they're batteries. What's the love? Well, there's really nothing to love, but I think the science behind what everything gets done to batteries is pretty cool and loving. So, I worked at a warehouse called Global Tech Environmental. At that warehouse, we sorted batteries, tested them, shredded them, and tore them down all in one place. The amount of batteries we got in a day is insane. One of our most top suppliers was actually California, so they send all of their batteries to us. Now, all these batteries that we got in were recycled, and there was a ton, but I have a feeling there was a ton more that went to landfills. So, please remember to recycle your batteries, and I'll explain why later. Today, my mission is to help you guys understand how to sort batteries a little bit better and possibly tell the difference if you're that interested. Some batteries are going to be a no-brainer, but the, there's a little bit more information about batteries that you probably didn't know that I'll talk about. How about a pun? What's an iPhone's favorite type of juice? <laughs> Apple juice. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, the common term, household batteries. Household batteries are anything that pertains to a hearing aid, to a double or triple A battery like alkaline batteries. They can be used anywhere in your house or in your everyday life. It's crazy where batteries are that you don't even think they would be. These are nickel metal batteries. These batteries are rechargeable and commonly used in shark vacuum tool packs, in packs, or simply a remote for your TV. They are often green, which is an easy way to tell that they are nickel metal and rechargeable. The next type of common household battery are lithium ions and just lithium. Lithium batteries are blue and they usually have another name called just lithium primary. Another form of lithium batteries are actually disposable babes. Lithium ions could also have the numbers 18650 on them, or the voltage of 3.7, which helps identify them. An example of another lithium ion battery, which I do not have on here, is cell phone batteries. NICAP batteries are one of the most common tool pack batteries besides lithium ion. The picture in the middle is what NICAP and is actually very, very corrosive and toxic. You don't want to touch the liquid inside, but you'll probably rarely see these unless you're working in a warehouse like I was. Another thing about NICADs are they're usually yellow, just like how nickel metal is usually green, which is another way to tell these batteries apart. Lead acid batteries are the batteries that are inside your car, lawnmower, or anything really heavy duty outside. Along with on the picture on the left, which is smaller gel lead acid batteries, like in the little toy cars that your kids go on and you can charge. Lead ba acid batteries either have acid in them, which you cannot touch, or gel in the smaller types, which are both very harmful if you touch them. The final battery that I want to talk about that you'll probably see in your common everyday life is actually life. LIFE's most common use is for energy storage and commercial vehicles, especially in China. This type of battery is almost like lead and lithium, but it is so much lighter that you can be able to tell a difference without even looking at the label sometimes. Thanks, Katie, in the past. Now, I hope I was able to teach you guys a bit more about batteries than you actually knew about before. Now, I only went over around six types of batteries, and there's roughly so many that I couldn't even start reciting them. And please also recycle your batteries. It is crazy what I learned about batteries that happens that they don't get recycled. Did you guys know it takes almost roughly nine years for an alkaline to decompose in a landfill? Now, just think about the batteries that have multiple types of chemistries in them. Well, that's all for me. You guys have a good rest of your day or night. Toodles.